and welcome to this week's Awaken Your Inner Power with the Spiritual Events Directory. Welcome, welcome everyone. I'm just going to check that we are live on the page. So hopefully uh, this has all gone to plan. It looks like there were a couple of changes in this this morning, so I'm just not 100% sure. And uh, it will tell me, yep, very shortly that we are live. So let me know where in the world you are tuning in from, what, uh, what the weather's like where you are, and uh, what you've been up to today. So that's a great way for us to start. Now to, today I'm, I want to uh, keep our conversation around uh, the area of, I'm just uh, around the area of transformation because I think it's really important that here we are, we are on and we are live. So everything is fine. Welcome. Um, I'm just, okay, excellent. Lily, hello, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you here again, Lily. And uh, so we're going to talk about transformation. So I'd love all your questions to be around those sorts of themes and, you know, that area of your life. And if we can look at what's been a really major factor in your transformation and where you're up to in your journey today. So let me know all about that and uh, let me know, as I said, where you're tuning in from. Share some love with where you're at and uh, share this live. I'd love you to invite your friends along to come and join us. Hello, Judy from Townsville. How are you? I bet it's lovely up there today. It's um, it's a little bit overcast in Brisbane. Not sure what your weather's doing up there, but I'm sure it's certainly going to be a lot warmer than it is down here in Brisbane today. So welcome to the show, Judy. Lovely to see you here and lovely to have you aboard um, as we move into our transformations today. So let me know, um, you know, what it is that's really transformed your life, what's been a major factor in bringing you to where you're up to today. And uh, we're going to answer questions around that topic Topic today so I want to keep it real I want to keep it in that area and I want to help you along and certainly uh, we have our crystal today as well to help guide us so that's uh, something that I'm going to be looking at with uh, more yes and no questions down the track so any questions coming in what's going on in your life today what have you been doing happy Friday everyone and welcome to the show so um, yeah, just uh, give me some, give me some, uh, give me some love. I'm just going to actually try and share this as well to a page or two while I can, and uh, let's go from there. So let's uh, share this. Okay going to share it to a couple of places here and as we go along and please ask some questions I'd love to be able to uh, help you along as we go here and answer any questions that you might have so let's uh, let's ask some questions and what's happening in your life I know that uh, you know this week's been a bit of a challenge for myself I know um, I've had a few things going on, um, have been a little under the weather earlier this week and just getting on top of everything now. So, you know, there's a lot going around at the moment which is really, um, you know, for those who have had any of these viruses and flus and tummy bugs that are going around, I know there's a lot going around. I know that it's really, um, some of them are really hanging around as well. So hopefully I'm at the end of all of mine. And, uh, you know, hi, Fiona, welcome to the show. You just let us know where you're from, Fiona, and uh, what's happening in your life today. We're talking about transformation. So I really want to keep that um, as our theme today and keep that moving along. So if you've got any questions around um, what have been some major shifts and transformations in your life to lead you to, to this page today, I'd love to be able to help you out with that. And we'll do some crystal um uh, guidance 
later on in the show. So you're all a very quiet bunch today. So I'd love to know a little bit more about what's going on. Come and talk to me. So that's what this show's about, is for you to actually talk to me and let me know what's going on and really uh, give me everything that's going on in your life. So Evan's head, lovely, lovely, nice area. Love that area. Um, it's really very, um, very tranquil, I think would be a work, word to use down there. So I've got that shared to a couple of places now. So... That is all good. Um, I think we've shared it as much as I can at the moment. So, hi, Angela. Welcome, welcome. From Thrupa. Thru, Thru, Where's Thrupa, Angela? I've not heard of that. Let me know where you are. And certainly let me... You know, let's ask some questions about transformations. I mean, transformations are really all about growth and, you know, bringing us expansion in our lives and being able to transform, you know, where we've come from and, and take us from our story and move us into other areas of our, our journey without standing and, and continuing along those same lines. Uh Fiona, I'm having a, would like some ideas on how to thank farewell. Wow, excellent question. I really like that because that, that will, that, um, you know, gratefulness that you're going to have around all of that to bring you into a new area of your life is really important. And, uh, you know, I guess um, one of the ways that you can do that is to really thank that area of your your body for giving you everything that you've taken away from this now i don't know if you have children or not um but you know it, it, be grateful for what the journey has been uh grateful for the recognition that um you know they've that it's been able to serve you in a way that's needed to be served and grateful that you've recognised that there were obviously some issues there and it's time now to move forward um, from that part of your life so that you can continue on in a healthy uh, manner and uh, continue in a positive way. And I think also it's really important to actually manage how you think and feel um, around that because the feelings and emotions that will come up from this are going to really test you I think um, afterwards and some great meditations and just tapping into your uh, root chakra a little bit and doing some healing around healing meditations around that because that's your sexuality and a hysterectomy is a really major you know operation to have to go through and you know while I expect that every Everything will come out um, will go really well for you uh, there are times when you you know when you really want to continue that internal healing through meditation and guidance that way after you've had the operation just to ensure that everything's healed but beautiful way to you know thank and farewell those parts for serving you in the past up until that that time when uh you do go in for your operation knowing that you know they're no longer wanted or needed to serve you and it's time to move forward from there so i think those are some really good um ways to do that and really doing that healing meditation around your uh base or root chakra once you come out of that and and as soon after that operation as you can I know there's going to be a lot of time where you're going to be sitting there um, not being able to do an awful lot and it's going to be really important to get that healing moving and make sure that you're on a really healthy diet after um, the operation just to embrace as much of that good um good energy that you're going to need after the operation as well so hopefully that's helped you um 
you know, there's there's some really positive um, meditations that you can look at down there. And just uh, with your mindset, just tap into your heart and know that, you know, this has all happened for a reason and it's time, like you say, to farewell those parts that have served you in the past. So really good question. Oh, Pennsylvania. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, PA, of course. Okay, yeah, excellent. So long way away. Welcome to the show, Angela. Career decisions happening for me at the moment, what to do. We are looking at our questions around transformation today and, you know, where you've come from at this point to where you're going. And we really want to be looking at the things that have transformed you so far and what we can do to build on those. So if you've got some um, really good questions around transformation, that's what we're looking at today. So one go. Well, another thing, uh, Fiona, too, is to thank um, those body parts for serving you with the beauty of, you know, having a beautiful girl that, um, you know, you, you can love and enjoy. So perfect. Um, Perla, hello, blessings to you too. Roberta, hi. Where are you from, Roberta? Just pop you, you um, where you're tuning in from. That would be great. Feel free to share this, this live as well to as many people because we really want to transform as many lives as we can. Uh, Christine, hi. The life in general is very challenging. Uh, look, yeah, we... As I said, we are looking at around uh, transformation. So we want to talk about what's transformed you, um, what's brought you to this point in your life and, you know, how the transformation can continue in a positive way. And, you know, we're really going to look at being able to do that. And I will do a couple of questions um, at the towards the end of the hour with the crystal on transformations and, you know, how we can go you through that a little bit better so um really good you're very welcome very welcome fiona angela thank you beverly hi beverly welcome to the show today it's lovely to have you here um beverly where are you tuning oh leslie larkin hello my love fancy seeing you here welcome welcome to the show um and you know as i said we're going to be talking about transformation today so if you've got any questions around transforming your life putting some expansion into your life and doing some things that are going to really help you to create those um create those things that will really uh bring bring forward change for you in a positive way that's what we're looking at today so um christine saxby welcome christine welcome to the show today beverly thank you for joining us as well adelaide freezing cold i i can imagine i can say this brisbane is very cool today and you know i have actually been very cold this morning sitting here in my office and um, actually had a little bit of the heater on for a little quite a quite a longer period of time this morning so i'm looking forward to this winter being over and moving into the nice springtime where the weather warms up a little bit so thank you for sharing that with me today beverly so let's talk about these transformations you know um i've had many in my time i've come you know from a history of you know being very ordinary in my life growing up and not not really moving forward and um being encouraged to do anything that i want to do not that i was discouraged but we didn't have the motivation and the mindset around us at that point in time and so for me, it was always about working hard and working, um, you know, and money was hard to come by. And so I really had to transform my thought process in order for me to really come through and start to shine and look at, you know, how I could change my relationship with money, my relationship with myself to encourage me and and have me um, empower myself to know that I could do the things that I wanted to do and that I was, you know, worthy and deserved of those things. So transformation, um, 
<laughs> you're on your way okay perfect um yeah so you know transformation happens in so many ways it can be you know those light bulb moments that go off it can be those things that uh you know trigger our past um events and experiences that you no longer want to be triggered and so you really want to be looking for ways to work around that as well and you know my experience is that unless you balance all areas of your life it's a really very difficult thing to really be able to come through and and know that you know with certainty that you're going to be able to um, have all those things that you want and you know expect to have and deserve to have in your life so you know there's um I I would love to invite you along to my uh, masterclass, which is bring um, work life balance uh, into your life with energized action. And you know, it's a it's a beautiful way for us to work together um, through that. And I will put a link up. I do have a link up for that as well. If I can do that, so let's put that up. So, you know, if you're interested in finding out more about that, then certainly, uh, you know, come on and have a look at this. I'm going to pop it in the comments as well because it's really important, you know, that you do look at ways of changing your life through the experiences of this, having the support of others around you as well. So um does anything jump with my kids i'm not a medium beverly i i do do the crystal guidance um with yes or no answers which we will look at at the end but this is all about transformation so what specifically in the way um are you looking at with tra them transforming their lives how can that how can we look at that and really improve on that for you so i'd love to be able to help you out with that so you know we are looking at things around transformation transforming our lives changing the way that we think and feel about things um, that perhaps have been um, we've been hanging on to for quite some time so you know ask the questions around the transforming of your life and how we can help you to move forward with that and uh, you know um, Fiona asked a perfect question earlier as um because that is a massive transformation that she's going to go through and you know that really does deserve um the quality of that question so you know there's there's so much that you can do to change and transform and expand your life and you just have to understand that you know if you want to do that then you know there's steps and actions that you have to take in order for that to occur there's change that has to come with that um, in order to be able to look at how you can do that so you know there's many different ways that you can do it there's many simple techniques that you can use so please ask some questions around that i would love to hear more from you all and know how I can help. So, Christine, where are you tuning in from? I'd love to know where you are today. It's uh, lovely to have you here today, and thank you for the roses. That's lovely. <laughs> so, if anybody's got any questions around that, that would be amazing. Um, if we can have that help, uh, that question comes through, and we'll be able to help you with some answers and guidance there. So, um, just come on in and into the chat box and and ask a question i'm happy to help you out with that so this uh you know transforming your life comes from so many different things and um like i said you know there's events that we bring with us from way back in our life from you know childhood experiences that really do change our lives in one way or another and if those things are still being hung on to and they're being triggered by other areas of your life then you know we can look at how that that can change and how we can do that so you know if you've got questions around that 
part of the transformation and how you can stop those things from triggering or how you can avoid um, other things from going on then you know we'd really love to hear about that as well because this whole thing you know this whole process is is all about transformation I'm just going to grab a drink while we wait for some more questions to come on plug my computer in so it doesn't uh, go flat on me as well and uh, so yeah so questions anybody questions I'd love to know more about where you're going I am going to do the crystal uh, questions later on in the show so you know if you want to think about some things there um, but I'd love to chat to you more about how, you know, how we can alter the things that are causing you to be held back and causing those blocks in your life. And, you know, it's really important to be able to work on those. So, you know, come on into the space and, and ask the question and, you know, let's get some, some work done. You know, this show is here for you to help you all. So come on in and uh, let's let's move around that. So who's got, we might just do a quick couple of questions. So who's got a question around the transformation um, where we've got a yes or no answer? We will ask the, the crystal to guide us. Um, so pop your question in around that and the transformation it's got to be a very specific um question um so beverly you were asking about your kids but you know what sort of transformation are you looking at what sort of change what what does that relate to we have to be really really specific so if you wanted to pop that in that would be great and we can answer uh, that for you and, and how that's going to transform. And I'll, the more information I have, the more I can expand on the yes or no as well and, and give you some more guidance. So um, so how will that, how will changing schools transform his life? What sort of age is he at the moment? And, um, you know, how can we look at that more specifically with the transformation so if you want to just pop some more information in there that would be fantastic i love doing this show it's amazing so i'm just waiting for beverly to uh, pop that information in we can move forward with that question and and answer that for you so if anybody else has got a question, please feel free to pop it in. I'd love to know what your what transformations you're looking at, what changes you're looking at, and how it's really going to um, make you feel expansive in your life and, and transform your life to another level. So let's, uh, let's have a look at those questions and, um, yeah, we'll give you some answers. So I'm just still waiting for Beverly to come on in with that more information. And, you know, um, change in schools can uh, transform a person's life depending on, on where they're going and the reason and the purpose for that. So um, so how, what sort of age is he, Beverly, and how is there a reason that you're changing the school? Like, Pop in a little bit more information there. That would be great. I mean, only you can answer the question as to whether you want him to change schools or not. Um, that's really important that you understand the reason behind that, though. So, you know, what it, what is the purpose for the change in school? How old is he and how is that going to affect him? I can look at all of that. So he's nine. So he would be in um, what year? Year? eight year seven sorry i'm i've forgotten the the school ages for children now so yeah so it's still quite a um influential age uh for change um he just isn't coping year, oh year three okay year three so coping with the work or is there some um, other experiences that he's got going on um, from other children? Yeah, he's still just a bubba, he is. Um, 
you know, what, when you say he's not coping, what sort of purpose, um, what sort of coping, what isn't he coping with? You know, is it the schoolwork? And uh, if you can give me that, that would be great. We will answer that question for you a little bit later on. But, um, you know, what's he not coping with? And what's the, you know, let's have a look at more depth into that because I'll be able to answer and give you some more information around that once I have that, you know, a bit more detail, trauma and academically. So, okay. Um, so the trauma would cause the um, his results to change. Um, if he's getting traumatised at school from other children, then, yes, it's really challenging. And, you know, it's definitely, if it's going to increase his ability to, um, ad, you know, um, to gain results, uh, that's definitely going to help him. But if he's traumatised through that, anything in that school that he's currently in, then that's got to be a good change for him. And, yes, that will be the difference between him, um, you know, staying where he is and having this story of trauma and, um, you know, hurt and uh, that he, that will be triggered throughout his life if he doesn't understand how to let go of that. And, you know, his results are only going to keep going down. So, you know, any sort of trauma needs to be um, needs to be uh, addressed very quickly in order to make the best for him. So if he's being traumatised at the school, then, you know, the best thing you can do is look for a, an area where he's not going to be suffering through that. And, yeah, it's definitely going to transform his life one way or another. If you stay where you are, it will transform it um, in a negative sense. But if you move him and he's uh, become settled and happier, then it's going to transform him into a you know more positive way. So let's have a look at him now at uh, the reason why, um, you know, whether he's going to or not. So... Um, is Beverly going to change her school, her son's schooling? Is Beverly going to change her son's schooling? And look, that's coming up with a bit of a circle there. It's it's hesitated, and I think there's hesitation um, with you on what to do, um, and understandably so. I would certainly encourage you to do your due diligence with new schools, find out um, how they deal with situations, if it's going to be the same as the situation he's currently in, you know, how they are going to deal with that and, uh, um, you know, how he's going to feel better about the change, how comfortable he's going to be with changing schools at this age and, you know, it's still quite impressionable at that age so it's important for him to be really comfortable uh, once he gets into that school and know that he's going to be supported no matter what happens. Um, and, you know, the children can be so cruel and it doesn't matter, you know, what school they go to, there's always going to be a little bit of an impact from um, children when you are a new new child in a school so hopefully he'll be taken under wing by one of the children and really you know find his way and know that um, he's really encouraged to do the very best that he can do so hopefully hopefully that's um that's giving you some help in that area Beverly and you know he's able to look at different ways to um move forward and of course anything that you can do personally to help him and you know make him feel like you know he's obviously worthy and he is um you know loved and you know self-love get ask him to start practicing i know he's only very young but if he starts practicing self-love now and gratitude 
then that's going to build his confidence no matter what happens around him. So all those things can help to move, um, move him through this as well. The more that he loves himself, the more he's going to project that love um, out there with other people. So awesome, um, awesome way to, to work through that. And, you know, I hope everything works out for him. Hello, Kylie. Welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us and tuning in today. I would love to know where you're tuning in from. If you'd like to pop that in, we are talking about transformations today. So I would love to hear anything that, um, you know, you'd like to know about, you know, the transformations you've been through, what you can do to keep moving forward, um, you know, transformations, positive and negative. So whatever that is, if I can assist you with some, with some, um, you know, help through that during this session, I would love to be able to do that as well. So, okay, Beverly, you need to move house for his new school. Okay, okay. Well, that's something that you'll work through and I'm sure it will all work out um, just exactly how it's meant to be because, you know, still get him to practice on that self-love and, you know, work through that because it's really important that he does start that self-love and gratitude no matter how old he is and know that, you know, that will give him the confidence to start moving through. So... I'm about to go for a job interview. Um, what's the transformation coming from that? Up in the sunny coast, wonderful. I was up there on Saturday, so I love it up there. It's very pleasant. So um, we are looking at transformation. So how is this going to transform you? Are you working at the moment? Um, are you not working at the moment? How will this transform your, your life and those around you? And, you know, in order, how, how is that going to transform you? So change is really important and I can answer things really simply for you, but I really want to go into the depth because it's important to understand the journey of the transformation and what you get from that and really um, look at how you can look at, at your life better once this all occurs. So, Kylie, if you could uh, just pop in a little bit more information, that'd be amazing. Thank you. So who else have we got coming here today? We have um, any more questions on transformation? And let's go deeper into this because it's really important. And I want this show to really be able to change lives and, you know, help people work through things. Um, and so it's really important to get into the depth of that question um, as opposed to just simple questions, yes or no. You know, we, we want to be able to really work with you um, for this whole hour that we're on from 12 to 1 and, you know, get through that in a way that's going to change your life and, you know, give you some really good information but also give you some of those aha light bulb moments that you can take away and, and really work on when you go. So um, that's why I'm not just doing the crystal questions. It's got to be related to each time we come on um, a bit more depth. You know, we want people to really be empowered by this show and awakening that inner power so that you can move forward and do the things that you want to do and know that you've got certainty and guidance and support when you do that. So I've been nine years in the same job um, as a disability support worker but thinking of changing company because I've had rough times with co-workers. So are you changing the area that you, you're uh, working in? Like are you going to be um, still working with disability, um, with the disability area or you're moving into a completely different area and how is that going to change your life? How is that going to really make a difference to who you are and where you come from? Um, you know, I think, I think it doesn't matter who we work with. I think there's always going to be people that we need to stay away from um, and remember that everything that we do is purely a mirror of who we are. So what are you, uh, what are the, you know, what is the, 
what is the cause and effect of these people giving you a rough time? And I'm not saying you're doing anything, you know, consciously or deliberately. What I'm saying is subconsciously, what is the energy you're putting out there? How are you... Um, how are you working through um, any of anything that you've got? You know, when these people are saying things to you, are you, um, how are you feeling about that? And when you look at yourself, um, what is similar? So your frequency that you have, your energy frequency, this is all part of the cause and effect. So everything that you do creates the cause and all the action that you take over that is the effect. So that cannot change um, as such. It, it's just the way life is. So when you up your energy frequency, you're able to really um, up the level of communication, um, up your level of confidence and no longer allow people to treat you that way because of the energy that you're projecting out there. So many different many different ways of um, working through that and doing that and it's really important to understand that, you know, these are really important questions um, to have. You look, you know, looking at the whole picture of, what this is creating and how you can avoid that from happening even if you do change jobs so you know these things really do make a difference so if you can have a look at that kylie and just um maybe let me know a little bit more or, or pop some questions in there um you know pop some information in there or you know what's your thought process going through at the moment it takes a moment to absorb um, what I've given you and it's really important to know that you know <clears throat> sometimes that energy is derived from you know um, earlier generational lineage and sometimes we don't even know that we've got that energy until we start looking within so you know if I can help you I'm a perfectionist and perhaps need to let go as some see my passion and kindness as weakness. Yeah, look, I, definitely. And, you know, that's jealousy. People have been, get become very jealous when people are good at what they do. So you're obviously good at what you do. Um, yes, the perfection side of it, you know, sometimes we do need to let go of that. I know I've been like that myself in the past where I wouldn't be happy until, it, you know, it was perfect and would just continue to change things and change things and change things. And I was never happy with it because I was a perfectionist in what I did as well. And I think that when you learn to um, just start the journey or start the process then other things will start to flow you know we're always changing things up anyway and you know comparative nidus and perfectionism they're two things that really will help us to sabotage where we're at in life mm -hmm. but again it's um it's mm -hmm. really all about the um things that my phone's just started ringing. Sorry, guys. So, uh, you know, it really is about uh, whether or not you're allowing them to, you know, have you believe that it's a weakness. It's not a weakness. Um, it's only a weakness in their eyes. And remember that they've got a mirror image there of jealousy and, and all those things. So, you know, again, it's really important to understand you know, that's going to try and disempower everybody else around them. So um, now you were asking if about the job interview. Can I ask you, um, I know I did mention it, but just add, let me know, is it the same area of work? Like will you be working with um in the disability field again or is it something something a little bit more uh something a little different that you're really looking at getting your claws into and and really learning more stuff and expanding yourself so hi karina welcome to the show 
Um, you st oh, awesome. Feel like you know, oh, isn't that wonderful? You know, it, you've already answered that question. You feel like you're in a great space right now, in a good headspace. Um, you know, you love your new job. That that's your answer to the question that followed. So, you know. It's already serving you. Obviously, you're a lot happier than what you were a week or two ago when you were having these, um, when you were asking about that. So, you know, it, there's there's your transformation in, you know, in the first two sentences. So that I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad that you have found this wonderful change and, you know, you will just grow from here knowing that you're in a great place and you've got the support that you need. So. That's amazing. Well done. So, Kylie, uh, just I will answer that. If you could just, um, if you could just uh, let me know if it's in the same area, that would be great. But I will ask a question while we're waiting because I think it's really important um, for you to know. So, Kylie Shepherd, uh, is, hang on. What was the question? You're going. You're about to go for an interview. Okay. Will Kylie Shepherd be successful in her job interview that she is about to have? Will Kylie Shepherd be successful at the job interview that she's about to have? Look, that's a huge yes. Um, that is that's fantastic, Kylie. So um, <laughs> you're welcome, Karina. I will still be working in the same field, disability support. Yeah. But a lot quite look perfect and you know if you're going to work and you're feeling um, uncomfortable and not able to empower yourself to move through that and and that's fine um, then you know if you can be closer to home and be doing what you love helping others who really do need your support then absolutely that's great. So that's come up with a big yes. So I'm really glad that that you've got that. So well done and good luck. Um, I hope next week you can come on like Karina has and give me some give me some good news. And don't forget, guys, don't forget to share this live stream because and invite your friends along to come in. You're welcome, sweetheart. So and invite your friends to come along and join you because you know what. At the end of the day, if we're going to help each other, then, you know, if I can offer you support and help and assistance and guidance, then I would really love to be able to help those around you as well, those that deserve to have a little bit of assistance without, you know, at no cost. So, you know, remember this is a free live. We're not charging for our time here. This is one way for me to give back to the community of my followers and really try and work with them in a way to mentally and emotionally move them through whatever challenges they're having to transform their lives into you know a great area so that's you know that's what the show's about so why not why not share this with all your friends and invite your friends to come along as well and you know sit in on this and they're going to be able to have questions answered and guidance given to themselves as well. So that would be amazing. And don't forget um, that um, five-day challenge. It's a very simple challenge to do. It doesn't take up much time. There is a little workbook that comes with that. And I would love for you to really work through that workbook and you know it's a private group so only the people in the challenge will have the ability to interact with you along with myself and uh you know we want to do this because i feel like you know people often forget how to have that work-life balance flow and lose that energy um, because they're trying to juggle everything. We really want to get you back to simple um, balance in life and be able to work through those things. And, you know, or you, you're more than welcome to book an appointment with um, a spiritual events directory 
for a one-on-one -on -one session where we will look at some, you know, information for you and we will use the crystal guidance um, to answer some questions as well. So if you want to, you can either book an appointment or you can come into the five-day challenge where I'd be more than happy to either way help you out and give you some assistance and guidance and you know that's what I love to do and I love seeing the transformation of people you know once they've done my courses and my challenges and my you know programs so it just they just tend to have a much better flow hi Shelly welcome to the show um we're talking about transformation today Shelly so uh, let me know exactly um what the what the change will be for you um, as far as, you know, career direction, or whether you're working at the moment, whether it's a change in career, how that's going to transform your life, what you're looking to receive from that. And let's look at that a little bit deeper so that we can, you know, we really want the whole of you to understand what this process is, not just simple yes and no questions. I've decided to do things in more depth because I think we can get more value from that. And, you know, I, I would love to answer all these questions for you and really give you um, that understanding. So let's go deeper into the reasons behind um, these questions and what the transformations will be and and be created from this so if you can do that Rebecca welcome welcome to the show um, again Rebecca I'm, I'm not sure if you heard all of that but yeah it's all around you know um, what's the transformation you're looking at what guidance are you looking at receiving from that we can certainly answer that with the crystal, but if I can give you some, some information around that first, that would be amazing so that we can, you know, try and give you some something to really take away from these shows. And, and this is what I'm really passionate about. So, you know, come on in and ask those questions and think about what it is that you really want and how you want to transform your life. So they're really important and uh, it really, it's really important for me that you get value from this show, not just, you know, yes, you're going to be in that job or no, you're not going to be in that job and, and what you're taking away from that is a simple yes or no answer without really getting the credibility that um, that can give you further guidance around that and, and more of a um, substantial um, insight into how things work and why they're working so that's what you know that's what I want the, the direction I want this show to take and I want to enhance your lives as much as possible in this short amount of time that I have so um, if, if you can both Rebecca and Shelley uh, just um, explode those questions a little bit further expand them out a little bit more that would be wonderful um, Rebecca, I'm looking at staying in the same field but challenging myself through more. Okay, so you're, you, this is going to expand the lives of everybody around you and really, um, you know, I don't know if you're married or you're a mum or, you know, um, how you're going to go about creating that um, transformation. Obviously, if you're going for a promotion of some sort, and you know what what is it that you're thinking about that at the moment that um you're not that you're not absolutely confident about there's i get you know i'm i don't do medium work and i'm not a channel what i can what i can get from the question if i look at all the information in that question is that you're not confident enough to go for that job um, or you feel like you're not quite as confident about um, how you can really go in and give that job everything you've got that at that interview so just give me a little bit more around that and tell me what it is that um you know, you're challenging yourself around that, which is absolutely fantastic. I think that's enormous because that's how we grow. So do you have something around um, whether you're not feeling 100% confident in that or and what area is that in? Or, you know, I've done a lot of work with people around, you know, 
women um, applying for jobs in real high-end um, corporate jobs because at the end of the day, women feel really intimidated by those high-end positions because of the um, because we, you know, society's always made us feel less than the male counterparts that we're going up against. Women will look at a job um, description and if there's four or five things that they don't know how to do out of 15 or 20, then we'll automatically put that job um, uh, to the side. Whereas a man will go, oh, yeah, I can do all those other things, so I'll be right. And, you know, what women don't realise is that every job has on-job training. So, you know, on-the-job training actually allows you to do these things that you don't already know how to do. So why are we holding ourselves back from creating more in our lives and transforming who we are through expansion of ourselves because, you know, there's a task on there that we don't know how to do? So they're the sorts of things that we're doing. If that's the kind of thing that you're referring to, uh, Rebecca, let me know. Uh, oh, both, by the okay, sorry, I just saw that come up. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, oh, Karina, thank you. I really, I really appreciate that. I'm so grateful. And, you know, I decided this just in the last few days that I really wanted to give you depth and I wanted to give you value. And I think in the last couple of weeks with just doing these crystal yes and no's, people aren't benefiting as much and that's what the transformations are all about. They're really about going, you know what, I, I need to understand this more on a deeper level. So this is why I decided to really go, go there and this is why I'm challenging you all to put all that information out there because for us to really work through this and as I said it's in a very short period of time so for me to give you the best value and to for you to receive more about um how to move through these things then this is the way for me to do it and like I said you can book an appointment through spiritual events directory by just clicking on the book now button and and the you know all the people offering a service um after the you know away from their shows will come up you just click on that and book an appointment um and also you know my my five-day challenge I really do invite you to come to that because that can really help you to move forward so much so um okay um Rebecca I have mixed emotions I love my job security that I have now of course it it, it is it's a feeling of um fear and which can be self-sabotage as well so um scared in case this changes and I have the ability to step up but worried there are people, obstacles in the way. Okay, people obstacles. Um, that That's great. I'm not sure exactly what people obstacles are, but it sounds to me like you're doubting your ability and, you know, most of us won't give up a secure job for fear of, of the unknown, so totally get that. Um, what I would say to you is this sounds like a little bit of self-sabotage going on within yourself and you're finding reasons why you perhaps shouldn't apply for this job. And, you know, it's really important to know that your, you know, change is one thing that's going to be constant and when we're creating that change ourselves it's because we want to um, expand and transform our lives and the ones around us you know all our loved ones so um, if you're worried about the people obstacles I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to there but I would look within yourself and really um, tap into what you think that uh, might be and where that comes from and also what's your intention for this job so intentions are really important so do a meditation and then set your intention after that because you might get some answers through the course of a meditation as well so first of all we are going to look at um 
whether or not you're now what was the original question oh will you be in your okay so let's ask the question anyway but i really hope that other information has helped you so is rebecca going to be uh changing jobs is rebecca going to be changing jobs to this um promotion look that's coming up with a yes so trust yourself trust your inner self know that you have the power to actually do anything that you want to so really step into that and do that meditation and then set your intention around that set your intention for what you want that interview process to be like what you um set the intention for what you want to gain from it and what's going to come out and how you're going to benefit from that and transform your life so um now shelly sorry to clarify i'd love to move into the health and well-being sector but not exactly sure what okay so um shelly without knowing your um, qualifications if you have any and you don't necessarily need to have any to step into that to start with um, what I would say is your, um, your inner self will give you the power to guide you through what you want to do. And, again, I would say the same to you um, as what I said to Rebecca is, you know, do a meditation and then set your intention around that. One great way of doing um, any of this for you is and rebecca this will apply to you too so write up a list and be really specific about how you want that job to look so um or how you want that um health and well-being process to look be very specific you know who do you, who are the people that you want to work with what is their um you know personality what is their um, practices what are their values what are their you know are they aligned with your values all of these things because if you get really specific with that then you're going to be able to work through um, these things with a really open and honest um, and transparent ability and they will do the same and if that's who you want to be working with and you know it's definitely going to be about working with them and not for them so i think that if you can write those lists and be really specific about what you want those people to be then you first have to be that person yourself and create those changes so that so that you can step into that and know that you're on the same level and on the same um you know uh, uh alignment and frequency as them so that you're attracting all those good things for you so um you know as far as uh the health and well-being sector um really look at what you want that to be what area you want that to be in um i've mixed emotions on my job uh, i know we did that sorry rebecca kylie am i letting the fear of money stopping me from barking on a new direction should i be pragmatic or trust in the universe um great question kylie great question um what is actually you know what this timing is perfect where are you based kylie just pop in there for me where you are um just pop in where you are um fantastic shelly i'm glad that was very helpful for you i really love being able to help people and i'm so grateful and i feel really blessed with people who, who are really giving me um all these beautiful comments back so that's really great uh to wanton okay oh sunshine coast of course kylie um okay for anybody who might be interested in there is a fantastic 21 day challenge coming up and it's all around um it's a money challenge it will help you to work through that fear of money your old story around money and how to change that so if you would like 
Um, it is an online uh, process. If you would like me to invite you along to that, I would love to um, have you on board with that. It is a free challenge, so there is absolutely no cost. And it's really important to be able to work through those things. I've done this challenge once, and I don't think it matters what level you're at. If you want to increase your life and you want to increase your level of success then you know i know there's people in this um challenge that are extremely um successful and they want to take their business to another level so they're just letting go of any of the things that are holding them back around their fear of success uh, around their fear of money so if you would like to um join me i'm more than happy to help you along just just uh let me know kylie and and i would love to be there to help you through that that would be absolutely amazing i will um invite you through the link and um you can you can come on to that page and join so you know join the group it's a private group and uh set up for those big money shifts to occur during that 21 days now there's not something on every day there's one night a week um i think where there's going to be this big process done where you will release those money shifts and uh then you're going to just go into the group and see the videos each day and do a little bit of you know, not a lot of work, a five minute process or a 10 minute process, just working out some stuff and writing your comments in the group. So very easy process, not a lot of time to take up with that. And, uh, you know, fantastic. All right, I will definitely invite you along to that. Thank you, beautiful souls for being here again today. I really do feel extremely um, privileged to be able to talk to you each and every week. And, you know, every week I'm here on Fridays at 12 o'clock Australian Eastern Standard Time. So I really would love to see you here and invite your friends along, share the link and really have them to come in and, and let's help as many people as we can in this short amount of time that we have. So Kylie, I will um, send you that link. Um, actually, I might just do it just before I get off, just in case. I have trouble locating you on Facebook. So uh, let's go. Whoops, sorry. Um, 21 day. Okay. And I'll just see if I can grab you in here now. Food. Connie, you are PH. Okay. PH. Shepherd. Uh, can't do it that way. Okay. Um, all right, we'll do it this way instead. I'll just pop it in here so that you can. Um, just copy that and go to that page and just a request to join and you should have that. Um, why didn't that, there we go, there it is. So if you want to just copy and paste that, Kylie, you're more than welcome to do that. It will definitely come up on the replay as well. So look, thank you so much again, everybody, for being here. I really do appreciate it. And, you know, you were born to be extraordinary, so do not... Um, Allow yourselves through your fears, your limits, your blocks and your um, sabotaging and procrastination thought processes to hold you back to be ordinary because you deserve so much more than that. So I look forward to seeing you all next Friday at 12 o'clock. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for the beautiful comments and have an extraordinary week. Bye for now.